everybody. Welcome to another episode of the KJD Show. I am your host, KJD. So tonight I'm going to talk about what happened after WrestleMania. It started off with the World Heavyweight title match. Sheamus against Daniel Bryan. Crowd got into it for Sheamus. Daniel Bryan came out in a robe doing his little, Yes! Yes! Match lasted 18 seconds to cut it all short. Right. He started off with a good luck kiss from his girlfriend, AJ. Right. Sheamus hit him with the bro kick immediately after that. Right. One, two, three. <laughs> Sheamus won. New World Heavyweight Champion. Hey, stuff? Next was Sorry. Cody Rhodes against the Big Show for the hey, Intercontinental yeah, uh, title. Uh, uh, Big Show ended up winning with a knockout punch. Hey, so, New Intercontinental hey, Champion Cody Rhodes. Team Teddy versus Team Johnny. Well... That Hosky E. Torres did it again, distracted Zack Ryder. So, John Laurinaitis, Executive Vice President of Talent Relations, is now going to run Raw and SmackDown. Um, Triple H against The Undertaker and Hell in a Cell. It was probably the best match of the night. The Undertaker won. A lot of near falls. He once kicked out of the Sweet Chin Music and a pedigree in consecutive, consecutive order. Match ended with The Undertaker and Shawn Michaels both helping Triple H up. Kane against Randy Orton. Kane choke slammed Randy Orton off the top rope, and that's how the match ended. Kane winning. Jericho against Punk. The Anaconda Vice was too much for Punk to get out of. He even gave Punk two code breakers. Punk got it. Still WWE champion. So the one match everybody was anticipating, The Rock against Cena. It was a great match. Both of them hit their finishers on each other. But The Rock, who a lot of people were for, ended up winning the match, unfortunately. <laughs> so if you got anything you want to say about it, go ahead and leave a comment. Request to follow me on Instagram, like this video, leave a comment, and follow it on Facebook. So go ahead, everybody, have a good night.